Hello and welcome to the AFL Auto Blend 3D Car Creation Channel. This is the uh, next episode in the Comma FC panel van. Um, for those of you who have followed this series, um, in previous episodes we've created all the guide meshes, as you can see down here, and labelled them. Um, in this episode I'm going to be creating the final mesh for the, um, for the roof. Um, so, if we look at the um, if we look at the roof, there's some ribs indentations here. There's that run along the uh, whole width of the roof, and then there's some panel indentations here, some B-rolling, um, and then there's the gutter here, which we've already got um, in place, but we need to add thickness to it. Um, so that's what we'll be doing in this episode. Now the blueprints I've got are um, from a model that apparently was um, that's on CG Trader. Um, so I've got the images from that to create this. Um, in my version though, um, where we've got two lights here, the earlier versions just had one. So that's what I'll be creating, the one with the one, and um, potentially then I'll do another another version of the van at a later date, because once, once we've got the guide meshes, it'll be relatively easy to do. So, um, first things first, make sure that we've got everything here. We've got, I've got an area light and a camera, so what I'm gonna do is create a new collection and I'm going to label it. So get into an area here, if a blank area here, if you can't just move this up and down, this, this here, move that up and down till you can see your collections. Um, double click in there and I'm going to type in um, render. Render components. You could call it environment. You could call it whatever you like. Um, so I'll just drag those into that. So all you do is left mouse click, hold the hold the hold it down, and then just drag it until that highlights there. And then that's in your in your thing. Um, now I'm going to create a new collection called main meshes. So let's say main. I'm going to put this in capitals, main meshes. Um, can't spell main. Main meshes. Okay. So for this, we need all we need is the um, now all these guide meshes are in place. And just a little note on the outliner. Um, this, if you click these, it sets them in place. So, so if you click this, that means that you can't you can't select on it unless you unselect it. So if you if you haven't got that filter, just go to filters here and it's this one. Just click it until it highlights. Or if you haven't got any other of these, just click them all because um, they're all very useful. <clears throat> anyway, so we'll go to the um, the roof guide. I need to un undo that at the moment just to select this. So that says rear quarter guide, well that's wrong. So we'll, call, we'll double click that and call it roof. Roof guide. Okay, so we've got our roof guide now. Now, because it's a, a guide mesh um, for a shrink wrap, what you need to do is have a higher levels in your viewport than in your main mesh. So we're gonna crank this up to about four. Um, render I'm gonna put up four for now. Um, but because I use you I usually have level two and three for the main meshes. So as long as these are above that, um, we should have enough um, vertices in there to get a, a good shrink wrap. Anyway um, 
and drag this down because that needs to be at the bottom. Okay, so the first things first. So we're going to select this one and everyone else, every other else, we're just going to go down and, and hide visibility or so you can't select them. Um, press Control and I. Actually, that's wrong. We need them all at the moment because we need to hide them. Right, so select your roof guide. Right, Control and I. Press Control, hit the I button and press H to hide it. That means that we've only got the roof and the blueprints. Okay, so now we can click off as select. Well, we can't select them anyway, but uh, let's just do that as a matter of, of course. So now we've got our roof guide. Press Shift and D to duplicate it and press the enter key to set it in place. Okay, now we'll move this roof guide 001 into our main meshes and we'll call this roof. Okay, so um, now we've got that, I'm gonna slide this, this up to about here and minimize this. Um, now what we've got to do is go into that roof and we'll add some, so we've got subdivision in here, so the roof, but we don't need it at four. So we're gonna take that down to two and we'll take this down to three. Um, so we need, we need now to hide the roof guide, okay. So minimize that again. Uh, now we need to add in a shrink wrap modifier. Okay. So, so we'll go to this little um, wrench, spanner, whatever you like to call it, and minimize the subdivision, add a modifier in, and add in a shrink wrap. Now for this we need a target. Now for the time being, um, the target will be roof, so we'll just type in, if it's not, just type roof and it's roof guide that we need. So what we've done is we've, our main mesh, we've created our main mesh and we're referencing it back to the roof guide mesh. Okay, now we've got, click here in the object data properties. Um, and what we need to do is to go into edit mode. So tab into edit mode on the roof mesh, highlight everything at this moment in time and go to your, um, go to this button, which is the object data properties. Now we need to assign all of these vertices to a vertex group. So we press this little plus here to add the vertex group, group and then press assign okay so now whatever you do with these um, unless you remove them from the data group they will stick to the um, roof guide mesh okay so let's have a look at this see where we are so press 7 to go to the top view um, uh, probably Let's go to the side view first and press seven, uh, seven, Z and wireframe. Now let's hide these for the time being. Um, and then let's have a look what we've got. So we've got these indentations in the roof. We've got them in three places and they run, if we look at the top view and they run across the whole width of the, of the roof. Then we've got these um, indentations here um, to, to, I suppose, the van, the van part of the roof, the, um, the, um, the front part of the roof or the cockpit part of the roof hasn't got any indentations. 
So let's start with this one here. Um, so press alternate to bring everything back. Um, now we've already got well, with this line here. Um, what we'll do is press alt and left mouse and get that and then just press G twice and bring it down to around about there. Okay, now in this area we'll press Control and R to get another loop cut and drag that down to about there. Okay, um, now what we're going to do is to create the um, indentation. So um, so we're going to select this to here. Okay. Now in this instance, I'm just going to press the I key to inset the faces. So inset the faces um, a little bit. So do it to there for a start. Um, before you do anything else, we don't want to inset the faces here because that is the center line which we're mirroring mirroring so um, we don't need that so we just highlight it so just expand this little selection here and tick off the boundary so unselect deselect the boundary okay um, which should have should have took it off there actually but it hasn't I don't know why that's happened. Um, I suppose because it isn't a boundary as such. It's in the centre of the mesh. So what we do here is we use the um, use the K, the knife key, the knife command. So press K. Um, you see you've got your little um, knife there. And wait till that is surrounded by a red um, box. Click on it, um, bring it over a little bit, press C, which constrains the angle, and go to there to make sure it's straight. Take it past it and then press the return key. And if we do the same here, just grab this, move it, move it a little bit, press C to constrain the angle, and then bring it there. Now all we simply do is bring these two. merge at last and these two in that order and press merge at last so that's our little indent um, press everything at this stage um, press shift and n to recalculate the normals and go to this selection here this line up here and go to clean up and merge by distance and if you've got any duplicate vertices that will take them away it's okay we've got that and actually we've missed a bit here okay so I'm going to go back a few stages I'm going back a few stages here and make sure that's why the boundary didn't work. So I'll press indent, inset, to inset the faces. Just inset them a little bit, not as much as I've got there. Just a little bit. Like that. And boundary ticks off, so that's why there's no boundary there. Look, that's fine. That's worked on this. Um, and then we will inset it again. To about there. Um, right. So let's look at, have a look at it at the side view. So that's where we are with that. Um, so now what we do is go into face select mode. So let's see this little button here. So past the edit mode, okay, you've got vertex select, you've got edge select, 
and you've got face select. So obviously, when you're in vertex, vertex select, you can select any vertex or any number of vertexes or vertices. Um, when you've got line on, you can choose any line or any row of lines. And with face, you can select any face. So let's press Z and go back into solid mode. Go to the top, and for this purpose, I'm going to disable the um, disable the view of the subdivision surface. So click on that button there. Um, right, where are we? So, um, right. So these I don't want to be right. Let's go back. Sorry about this. So these vertices we don't want to be in the shrink wrap because we don't want it to shrink wrap it to the surface. So therefore we've got to take it um, from the vertex group. So if you go in here and you go remove, so go from remove, um, to see what vertexes you've got selected, just make sure that you deselect everything, go to the select button, and you can see the vertexes that are not um, selected. Okay, so, so if we select everything now, press Shift and N to recalculate the normals. Okay, so there we are. Okay, so seven, get into that. We're taking away those. Let's choose the faces now. So choose this face. I don't know why it's selecting that. It seems to be a bit of a issue with this because we only want to select those. So let's um let's press X and delete the face. See what happens. Yeah, we've got somehow we've got faces that we shouldn't have here. Okay. So let's go back. Go back. 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 Press Control and Z to go back. Right. So I don't know exactly what happened there. Um, so press seven, let's go back to this and see if we can do this again. So press I to indent and just go a little bit. Press Z to go into wireframe. And let's press I again and set it a little bit more to about there. Right, now select the faces and see where we are. That's better. So we select from there and then hold the control key. Just hold the control key and press press left mouse and that will select the whole lot. Um, we need to be in normals, in normal view up here. So go into normal. Right. And let's um, see where we are. So we're in normals. We've selected everything we need to be in bounding box. So click on bounding box there. Go to one. And we just need to, I'm going there. And you're just, just gonna take it down a little bit. As much as that to about there. Press Z and go into solid mode. And I didn't um, take away those from the. Yeah, okay. So Z and go into wireframe. Um, go into vertex select and then remove these from the vertex group. Press Z and solid. Uh, I really don't know what's going on there. What's happened? What's happened? Press Z, go into wireframe. <coughs> so I think we need to take these out as well. So I'm going to take this, this out, and I'm going to remove these from the um, vertex select group. So remove, press Z, 
you go into solid and it still has that effect okay I don't know what's happened there um, let's go back instead of um, extruding it I'm going to move it in the G so let's move this down in G Don't have a lot of Alright, let's have a look how far we've gone now. So press Z, go into solid. And it's still not showing these. Hmm. I really don't know. So subdivide. Ah, I know what I haven't done. Um, I haven't assigned the vertex group, so we've created the group and taken away the vertices. But what I haven't done is <laughs> highlighted that. I keep doing that. So you just click that, press group, and hopefully then. So let's go in again. Press Z. Go to wireframe. Um, Go into vertex select mode, remove. Um, let's have a look. Z and solid. There you go. So we've got that now. Um, I think that might be. Um, if you press tab to go into um, if you press tab to go into that's too deep that's far too deep so what I'm going to do now is to just bring these up so we're still in normals view so you dragging it um, on the normal view instead of um, on global view so just highlight this, bring it up, and bring it up. So so we, we want the um, indentation. So hold the shift key for minor, minute. Let's have a look at this. Press tab, is that too much? Yeah, it's still too much. So we just need this to be sitting below the, um, the line. So drag this up by the normals again so I'm going to drag it up to about there how, how far do we want it down Let's have a look, see where we are. That's not exactly done it, has it? I don't know what went wrong there. Right. Let's see. If I drag this up. Let's have a look. That's better. So dragging it up by, via the normals to about here now let's have a look so press tab to go into it that's better okay so there we are that's our that's our first one okay so I'll do one more um, I'll do one more in this video and then leave you to do the final one and then in the next video we'll do the um, the depressions but it's a similar, it's a similar sort of, um, um, similar sort of thing. So let's just hide this for a second and look to see where we go with this. And we're we're about right there. Let's have a look. Three. If I come down here to have a look. Let's put it back up here. So press Alt and H to bring everything back. 
um, hide the guide meshes because we don't want them. Um, press Z to go into wireframe. And let's have a look at this. So tab into edit mode. Um, it's difficult to see, isn't it? Um, but I think that's, um, we could take it down just a little bit more. Let's do that. So I'm going to take it up to about, looking at that line, about there. And then I'm happy with that. So save that. Tab. Press Z. And go into solid. So there we go. So that's one line. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. So I've done that one. Um, the next one is... Where is the next one? Let's go to Z. Press Z to go... Oh, 7 to go to top view. Press Z to go into wireframe view. And then the next one's here. So let's continue this process. To highlight this, left, press Alt and left mouse, um, press G twice, bring this down to about there, press Ctrl and R, bring this down to about there. Um, select So let's get into um, face mode. So click on that button there. Okay, so go to, where's the line? Let's have a look. Okay, so we want this line from here to here. So we go to top view, press seven. So I to inset the faces. Just, uh, just a little bit to there, and then inset them again. To there. Um, let's have a look. Just make sure that um, it's consistent with the other one, which it is. So that's where we are with that. Um, I think we're going to do both of these at the same time. Um, right, yeah, I think we will. I think we'll do this other, the back one at the same time. Um, so click out of that. Um, let's go to top view. So this is where it is. So seven, go to edge select. Right, so this one, we're going to press G twice and pull it down to here, or are we here? And then press Ctrl and R for the loop cut and pull that down to around about there. Okay, so it's the same thing now. So go to face select mode, select this one, hold control and select that. Go back to top view, press I to inset the faces, just a little bit, and then I again. I don't know what I was doing there. Press I again and come down a little bit more. there so we've got all those selected now we've got to go back and select the others so let's press shift shift and left mouse this one 
and then shift and control and select that. So that looks good. Do they look similar? I think this needs to be scaled in just a little bit more. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah, so this one needs to come in just a little bit more. So we'll select this. Let's go to edge select mode. Edge select mode, let's select this. And this one, let's press Z and go to solid so we can see what we're doing. So select this one. Okay, press 7 to go to the keypad. Let's press S and X and scale towards each other to about there. Okay, now go back to box select. So here, um, choose this one all the way up to here. Press shift and select that one. Ah. Control Z. So shift and select that one. So that's cool. Then scroll up and press control and shift. Wrong one. And select that. So there we are. That still looks a bit similar I think we're all right okay so what we need to do now is, is go to the side view go to press Z to go to wireframe um, and let's shrink this down so let's make sure this is in the right place looks looks right doesn't it Okay, let's go to the side view and then we'll shrink this down. So, so let's just pull this down. So what I want to do is press B just to put a ruler on it to see where we are with this. Yeah, it looks about right. So we're going to press Z to go into solid view. And once again, right, once again we need to so go back into wireframe. So with these selected, press um Vertex select mode and let's remove these from the group. Press 7, solid, and press tab. There we are. So we've done that um, detail. In the next episode, um, we'll create this detail here. So these details are done, these three, which are these three. Then the next episode we'll create these, which shouldn't be too much difficult, too much more difficult than what we've done. And then we will um, add thickness to the roof and the roof will be finished. Okay, thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye.